And of course, last year we had the DART mission, the double asteroid redirection test where a spacecraft was slammed into asteroid Dimorphos, which is a moon of Didymus. Astronomers around the world, space telescopes turned to watch the aftermath of this epic collision. And Webb was able to see this expanding cloud of debris coming from asteroid Dimorphos from this amazing impact. And afterwards, astronomers were able to measure exactly how much of a change in the orbital velocity of Dimorphos around the larger asteroid. It's been an incredible year of science observations, but Webb wasn't without its problems. And the first big problem was that the space telescope was hit by micrometeorites. And this was expected that there were these tiny bits of dust in the solar system that were expected to crash into the mirror and start to slowly degrade the optics capability of the telescope. But in May, a fairly sizable piece of dust crashed into the telescope, causing a noticeable amount of damage. Still, the capabilities of the telescope are fine, well beyond the expectations of the astronomers going into this, but they're able to detect this damage. And in fact, based on this damage, the people working with James Webb decided to change the way the telescope makes its orbit. So before it would turn in all directions that it was capable of seeing to be able to look at whatever targets it was going to. 